Hey buddies, it's your girl Christine, and this is going to be a legit try not to cringe or gag. Maybe we'll, we'll make this a, a try not to gag um, video. One of you guys suggested this, um, cooking with your mouth. This one is Christmas turkey by Nathan Keda Cedia Kadia. I don't know how to pronounce that. The thumbnail makes me want to throw out. I kind of just give you a little, you know, BTS on your girl. I, th- things that involve people's mouths can be very disgusting to me. And it's very specific things. Like kissing isn't disgusting to me, you know? But if let's say the person's like kissing, like, like all that, then I'm like, oh, that's gross. But any, like, you know when somebody brushes their teeth, right? And their toothbrush is out there, or not even the toothbrush being out there, they brush their teeth and like there's like the toothpaste foam and water that sits on the sink, that disgusts the out of me, okay? Or if someone chews gum and spits it out, that's disgusting, all right? If it's unchewed gum, it's fine. If it's chewed gum, disgusting. Um, Anything involving spit, I feel like someone immediately should die. Like if you spit at me, or if I see in a movie someone spit at somebody else, they should die. The only times I'm okay with it is if the person spitting is spitting on a despicable, disgusting person, then yes, spit on them because that's what they deserve because they are disgusting and revolting and yada, 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 or evil or whatever it is, right? But when it's the disgusting, revolting person spitting, okay, burn this, burn the world, the world needs to burn. It's very disgusting for me. So we're going to try this. I'm going to try not to gag. All right. Link is, I'm going to try not to cringe or gag. Link is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get, let's get started. (laughs) Cooking with your mouth. Okay. Hello. Hi. I'm Weaver Godfrey and I'm going to show you how to make my Christmas turkey stuffing recipe using only my mouth. Oh, a stuffing recipe. I'm sure you know that no good stuffing recipe is complete without the onion. So we're going to start there. I have a question. You want to finally dice it? I I have a question. Does anybody eat Mm. this? Because if somebody eats this, I'm going to barf the F up. Really, really small pieces is key. So that it cooks quite nicely when it goes in. What? It's a bit teary. (laughs) I do love cooking. Oh, I know they say when you slice an onion, what a lovely way to. I would never uh, like. She has made me immediately want to refrain from anyone who offers me food. This is what y'all do. Um. Uh, there was something I was going to say. Oh, I know like when, when you, they say if you cut an onion and your eyes are teary and stuff, that means you're dehydrated. It's a, it's a sign that you're dehydrated. But does that matter when you bite into it? You know, if you're ha- fully hydrated and you bite into an onion, would you still have the same experience or would you be fine because you're hydrated? If you know, let me know. Start. We're now going to dice some carrot. Because I wonder if it matters so if you to, put it uh, in your mouth. Go at about half a centimeter along. Put it in your mouth, chop it up a bit further, and get it out. So we're getting nice, even pieces. How are, how are you not eating it? Oh. Moving now onto our celery. And did you wash? There's more calories to eat celery. Than it does there's no way she. Interesting, I always use the right hand side. Maybe of my she mouth, washed it. You do what feels more natural to it you. did cut. Not her telling us which well, side of the like mouth is the better side. Try it. Mm. Now time for some aromatic herbs, and I'm going to use fresh parsley. Okay. I find flat leaf far sexier than curly, so that's what I'm going to use. So and flat leaf is the closer to, it's a very and loud I'm herb. Finally dice a handful. Oh my. How does your mouth take that? Because it's a very loud, like, kind of like that. Just by magic, diced parsley, perfect. Next.
Let's go. My favorite friend, the garlic. There is nothing better than the smell. It, so she could have washed that. Garlic. Um, for days and weeks. What's it? What's it called? Be the aware celery. The garlic is very, very hard to handle, and it really burns your mouth. But it's incredibly yeah. good for you. So stay with it, and your stuffing will taste the better for it. And there we go. Really hurting my tongue, but you know. I'll try not to pause. Now it. it's time for our bread. Disgusting. The meatier part of the stuffing. I normally say, if you don't know how to target your bread, go with <laughs> it like a hamburger. To how do you... It's a very good loaf. I okay. always choose the same loaf. Perfectly spherical. No bread knives. No okay. blades. A very, very safe stuffing. S- safe? It's traditional to use a lemon. But I don't like to do things traditionally, so I'm going to add some lemon zest and lemon juice. How? And for safety's sake, I am not going to use a zester. Quite an unusual flavour. That's for these lovely zesty lines. You, have you don't to get say. that with a normal zester at all. And then we're just going to stick our thumb in, wind it in. I'm trying. Start I'm trying. Those lovely juice. Okay, she is wholly violating that lemon. That poor freaking lemon. <sighs> I had I had a mini cringe in my face, but not a full cringe. But I will have to say, you know, you know what? I'm not going to jinx myself. Let's just continue because I don't want to say something and then next thing be something and then just vomit all over my screen. Okay, let me calm down. And now we're going to bind our stuffing with an egg. Or You're just going to crack it, right? I'm going to do the whisking in my mouth. The, why, why would... Our... There we go. Uh, try. Uh, try. Binder. As with any good recipe, <clears throat> we use a lot of butter in our stuffing. Mix. Oh my god. And I don't oh. have a microwave. Goodness. So I'm just going to warm the butter with the cozy insides of my mouth. This is. A little salt, some dis- black peppercorn. Like, she's. There we go. Seasoned and ready to stuff our turkey. Okay. ¿Qué va a hacer con eso? Beautiful. ¿Qué va a hacer con eso? Open up. Dime. Retrieve our beautiful stuffing. Dime. I can almost hear the Christmas carols now. Just push him in. Beautiful you stuffing saw the mix. Saliva. Absolutely cook. perfect. Stop violating that turkey. Made in a hundred percent safety. <laughs> For who? And for the person for eating? And now we'll a little drizzle of oil, and then our bird is ready to cook. Uh, eat massage that sazon. She doesn't have no seasoning. And we're just going to bring it round and in. You did. Sure we get a very, very crispy skin, moist inside, but and, and no seasoning. I know this is a try not to cringe season, but how are you going to chew up all the things for that inside, that inside of the thing, and not season the outside? It's got a great color, but you carve up the bird, and you're ready to serve. But what about seasoning? You didn't even do like white people pepper. seasoning with salt and pepper. That was she didn't put nothing, just oh, olive oil. Little, there we go. Oh, uh, that is that just like is absolutely effing disgusting. It looked like freaking saliva because you know it's all the juice from her mouth. And there we have it, cooking with your mouth. Why? Why did you do this? Why? 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 Why did? Why did? Why? Why did we, um, why? Oh, I remember seeing this video. And I, I didn't watch this video video, but I remember seeing the Instagram of that chick at the Victoria's Secret. Took me to fall down some stairs, I'm serious. Um, this was, um, disgusting on so many levels. So many levels. Um, I... I almost threw up. 
especially we, I, I'm not reliving this I'm not reliving this y'all seen the video y'all seen what she did y'all see how I felt about what she did and I ain't reliving this no not a no recap not anything if you if you're like hey how does Christine feel or how did she fare through this video rewind Scrap, take that little take your finger put at that the bottom where the red line is okay if you type the screen you'll see the red line right put your finger on the circle and then just zoop right back if you watch on a computer right just take your mouse put at the bottom you'll see a red dot just take that and zoop right back so you can see the or press press the little redo button well since you in the video you can't redo but if you just like back out and come back in you could do that too there's many options for you to relive this i'm not all right uh let me know your thoughts down below link is in the description box below did you cringe did you gag <sighs> let me know down below uh if you like that video check out the link in the description box below to support them if you like this video hug the life i don't like button i love you guys as always and until next time buddies toodles